What's good, YouTube? We back at it again. Today we switching it up. We're gonna make a little quick gun review. Nothing too crazy. Um, I own a Smith & Wesson SD9. It's a pistol. And I also have a shotgun. So we're going to do a quick review just to switch things up on this channel a little bit. Because lately it's been cars, been bikes, you know. So I want to switch it up a little bit. Keep the content going. And um, keep the vlogs coming out. So today that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go get the stuff. So in Canada we got a lot of rules. We got rules. You have to have a lot on the box wherever you do keep your gun there's so many different rules and everything with guns in canada you have to have trigger locks you have to this lock that lock everything gotta make sure it's secure so this is my smith and wesson sd9 it's a nine millimeter um it's a very smith and wesson sd9 so the sd stands for self-defense nine um ve stands for value enhanced or value enhancement um it's a really cheap gun if you're entering to get a gun and stuff and um you just got a license and stuff in canada in the states too it's a very very cheap gun right now i seen one today going for 369 brand new it's on sale um and that's 369 canadian because in american prices it's going to be a lot cheaper um if you do go to gun shows you can find them for a lot cheaper too and uh yeah if you do want to own your first gun which this was my first gun i waited a week to get this gun and you have to have a trigger lock mandatory at all times um i do keep the magazine inside it's always empty anyways because realistically um from what my instructor has told me is you pretty much you can't keep no ammunition with the gun can't do it can't do it so it is a nine millimeter um for the guys that don't know what it is, not the biggest bullet in the world. There is other caliber calibers that are bigger, but it still does the job. You go to the range, you know, start having some fun and stuff. You can shoot. Um, I do have a few videos that I do have shooting this gun that I will put with this video. Um, nothing too crazy. Last time I was polishing this up by hand, and honestly, to polish things is like is by hand is ridiculous you need a machine to do this shit i do have snap caps in the magazines i usually keep um just to practice right you want to practice how to load up some stuff right in case you get to the range you've never been you never loaded bullets before snap caps i do recommend getting them um bass pro sold them for like i got five of them for i don't know like 16 dollars but there is places that you can get them cheaper they do come in different calibers um even if you just want to play around with it nothing it's it's not a it's a it's not a toy okay it's still a it's still made with i don't know what the fuck material that is oh i'm swearing again god damn um but it is plastic don't try to flex that it's a real bullet don't be painting this shit um but yeah so the gun itself comes with two magazines nothing too crazy and the gun itself now the takedown But eventually I will get it. Um, bottom of the gun, not much to it. You know, I've seen guys clean it and they'll take out everything completely just to clean this. Um, I've cleaned this gun because they recommend every 250 bullets that you should clean it. And the first time I did go to the range and use this gun, um, I did put 250 bullets through it. So there's not much to this. I'm not an expert here by any means. I'm not, I'm not a gun reviewer guy. I'm just reviewing what I have, which is not much. So this is your spring, um, your slide and your barrel. Not much to this, all right? So people are thinking, that's all the parts that are coming to the gun. Four parts, four parts is all it needs, um, which is crazy. It's crazy. So in movies, you see when they take down the gun so quick, you know, somebody's trying to f fight them and they take the gun so quick. Not everything that you see in movies is legit and real, even though sometimes it'd be like that. So not much to it um, to put it all back together anyways. It's nothing too crazy. Realistically, I'm going to put the gun back together for you guys. But 
there's not much to this. I learned when I first got the gun, it took a few days because again, Canada rules are all are all different. Um, it took a few days to get the gun in, so I ordered it from a shop called Alpha Herdy, I believe is how you pronounce. It. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, but in order for them, I got my gun license in on a Monday. I ended up going there that same day to go look at guns and stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, I want a pistol, whatever, whatever. Um, and I pretty much went there, found this because I'm like, yeah, I want something cheap. I want, it's going to be my first gun. Maybe I won't like it eventually. Um, went there, talked to the guy. The guy was really nice. The guy helped me out. Um, told me as much info as he could, whatever. Um, so I signed the paperwork, gave them the money, and then that same Friday, they ended up um, they ended up calling me and say, "Hey, your gun's ready and stuff for pickup." I said, "All right, perfect." Uh, so I ended up buying this, right? So I got that that day, which was exciting. Um, but again, still my first pistol. I do want to eventually get another pistol. Um, and eventually I will start making range videos and stuff because going to the range is fun. It's it's a good time. Um, I've been going to one with my buddy. It's down in Burlington. I'll put the link in the description for that as well. Um, I'm not a member of no range currently, but eventually I will get a pass for a range. Okay, so that's my pistol. Okay, so this is a pistol, Smith & Wesson SD9. Um, like I said, it's nothing too crazy, so we'll put this one to the side for now. And I also got this as well, which I've never shot yet. I had a recent show. It was super cheap. I ended up paying like what, 280 cash. Like it was nothing. It was nothing insane. It wasn't anything too crazy. Um, this is a tactical 12 gauge shotgun. Like it's, you know, I still haven't shot it yet. Um, so as you could tell, it's. It is going to do what it's going to do. Breakdown of this gun. Again, it's a 12 gauge, three inch slugs. Um, it's made in Turkey. It's a Makarov AS42. Now I haven't seen any videos about this gun um, on YouTube yet. I've seen them, the other models of this gun, but I haven't seen this one exact model. Um, on the stock you can put spare bullets um, so eventually when I do go to the range I will now I don't know a lot about this gun like I said I'm not a gun reviewer I don't know a crazy amount about this gun at all like the the Smith the SD9 I did my homework about this gun I learned because I always wanted a pistol um, legally so I did do a lot of research once I got it um, I've seen guys modify them. I've seen them put extended mags, which I've been looking for, but Canada laws, you can only have 10 in semi-automatics, all right? This is actually a 16. This is supposed to hold 16, but it's pinned off exactly at 10, right? So our laws are fucking ass compared to the state. Um, but whatever, at least we have guns, right? It's better than nothing. But yeah, so I will find out more about this gun um to be honest with you i'm still probably afraid to shoot it because i want to shoot it like this i want to shoot without the stock there but this thing i'm not the biggest guy in the world this thing will send me flying i've seen videos of people shooting shotguns and they've gone flying so yeah so like i said today's not a heavy review it's just switching it up a little bit um and explain to you what i do have it's nothing too crazy um yeah, man. So like, comment, subscribe. This is also, guys, I want to do a challenge video this Friday since it is Easter this weekend and it's Good Friday on Friday. And um, I don't have anything to do Friday. So I was thinking of either doing two things, a challenge video or a gun range video, depending if my boy can go or not. Um, so put in the comments below what do you guys want to see. For challenges, I was thinking a few things um, to do on Friday. I'm going to see who else is down to... To help out and uh get these challenge videos started i want to make this this page as fun as possible and make everybody laugh um do what we do friday put in the comments below 
what you guys want to see, whether it be gun range video or challenge videos. Anyways, we're going to make a video again this week. Um, I'm going to try to post at least four videos this week. I've already posted, by the time you guys see this video, I would have posted Saturday's vlog for Import Expo prep and the Import Expo video as well. And then I'll be posting this video. And then Friday I'll be probably posting whatever challenge video and whatever else I do on Friday. Um, so let's get it. Like I say, like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, um, and just keep reposting, man. Let's get it.